guys and that's about it these 355 gallon barrels will become my sump system obviously I still need to do my plumbing and my lighting uh, but for right now let's focus on the rack and take a little bit of a closer look at how it's constructed the legs themselves are probably the most important part of a stand and what we have here are two boards two two by fours the one in the back is full height it goes from the ground all the way up to the top of the rack and the one in front of it is interrupted by our horizontals so these horizontal beams are taking the load from the tanks and they're transferring it to the legs here which are screwed into the full height leg alright uh, so that's what's going to carry the load all the way down to the floor you'll see we have another interrupted beam here um, and another horizontal uh, the spacers here uh, will carry a little bit of weight, but not a whole lot. Uh, most of it's going to be carried by that back beam and the front beam, those horizontals. Um, we've got the styrofoam on top. Uh, it's about an inch of styrofoam to help level off the tank. You can see these tanks are already placed on top of that styrofoam. And the way I design these tanks is so that the plastic rim here uh, sits midway uh, on these beams alright that way you know that when your tank is centered uh, in its place the load is kind of being evenly distributed across all of those pieces of wood when uh, we look we actually have two stands here one on the left and one on the right and the thing that's tying them together are these beams here okay those are kind of optional if you want to make one stand uh, you can do without those and uh, you can 
you know, feel free to arrange your racks any way you want. But for me, uh, I'm going to put my plumbing right down the middle and I'm going to have uh, everything kind of tie in through this center and then go over uh, to my barrels there. But let's take a quick look at what we have going on currently out front. It's a little bit of a mess. Actually, this, this whole basement is a little bit of a mess uh, because I've been quickly putting this project together. But the rack is in really good shape. Uh, we do have two tanks that are kind of temporarily up and running. Uh, I'll be removing the canister filters and the sponge filters once I have um, all of my plumbing done to uh, the 55 gallon sumps. But for right now, uh, this is what we have going on. I do have my Endlers, and uh, I do have a few bristle nose Placos. I've got a dwarf African frog. Uh, I do have some Memro Crab uh, crayfish, self cloning marble crayfish as well. Um, but all of these lights are going away. I'm going to replace it with LED lights eventually. Uh, I do have these metal cross braces in the back. Uh, you saw me install those. Those are somewhat optional. Uh, I wanted to add them just to give the stand a little bit more strength and uh, I figure you know it, it doesn't hurt. Um, probably not required but I wanted to do it anyways because I wanted this to be something that would definitely last. You do see uh, the legs are shimmed a little bit uh, and that was just to level off the tank. I'll be cutting those shims back a little bit so you don't see them quite as much. I may paint this uh, stand in the future, but for right now, uh, this is what we've got. Uh, it's pretty professionally built. All of the cuts are straight cuts, so it's very easy to put together. I'm going to put the full lumber list uh, and all of the, the lengths for all of the boards in this build. Uh, in the description of the video so go check that out and uh, if you have any questions uh, about the rack itself and uh, how it went together let me know alright guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later